Hey guys, so I'm here with a hit and miss video of products that I have used recently. Um, this is just going to be a hit and miss video kind of deal because I haven't made one yet. So I'm just going to tell you my fave products and products that I dislike. And when my channel gets rolling and stuff, then I'll do my hit and misses for every month. So let's just get started. Um, I'm really into the Vaseline line, like their skincare and just anything Vaseline. I'm really impressed with them. So my favorite Vaseline cream is Cocoa Butter Deep Conditioning Body Lotion with Cocoa Butter and Vitamin E. This is my favorite. This is what I put on my legs after I shave them. Um, if I'm really, really hot or sweaty, I'll put this all over my body and it just cools me down instantly. Um, I use this after I tan outside or in a tanning bed. Um, so yeah, it's just an all over great lotion. And now the product that I don't like for, by Vaseline and it's the only one I don't like is the Healthy Body Glow Daily Moisturizer and Self Tanner. I don't like this because it makes you look orange and it leaves you really really streaky and if you don't want a very streaky you have to like stay perfectly still until it's completely dry or if you end up like moving like say I have it like on my arm and I'm like putting it on like this and then I'll move my arm and the cream will just like stretch and then you'll get like lines and it's just a hot mess so for me I would stay away from this I don't know if you guys like it or it works good for you for you but for me it doesn't it is my chi 44 iron guard love this this is a good all over um thermal hair protection like just a solid good one and i really like it um the other ones i have is insulate it's a heat protective style spray and it has hairspray in it so the only time i'd probably use this is if i'm curling my hair or i'm scrunching it up and using the blow dryer for that because it will have that extra hold but if I'm just straightening my hair or leaving it down then I'll use this because it's just a thermal protective spray so and then the other one if I'm volumizing my hair so if I'm round brushing my hair with a blow dryer and a round brush then I'll use this Regis design or design line thermal boost spray it's just like a protective lift so it gives you like volume and it protects your hair against the blow dryer or the curling iron or any heat products so they're all hits for me but I prefer the chi over all of them because it's just there and I, and I can control how much hold I have in my hair and how much hairspray that I can put in and stuff like that and this Freeman Facial Clay Mask Avocado and Oatmeal is a major, major, major miss. This, I don't know if you guys like it or use it, but I've used it a couple times and I got it about, I'm going to say the end of May. So it's what now, July 1st tomorrow because it's Canada Day tomorrow. Um, and it's already gone bad. Like I... Here, I'll just shake it up for you right now and then watch it come out. I don't know if you can see it. It's very liquidy. Just this like liquidy mess. You can see it running down and it's supposed to be thick. When I first got it, it used to be really, really thick. So that's a miss for me and it really smells bad. So it's only like a month and a bit old. So it shouldn't do that. Um, so another hit for me would be my my Clear Cell Ultra Overnight Face Lotion. Now I don't put this all over my face at night time. I just put it on my red spots and it clears them right away in the morning and they're gone. So I would definitely recommend this for sure. Um, my Avon, Avon Moisture Effect Eye Makeup Remover Lotion and it's moisturizing. So, um, this will take off anything. Like, I have a gosh eyeliner, like the liquid eyeliners. I don't know if you guys use them, but if you use them, they're really, really hard to get off. This just butter just comes right off, and I love this stuff. 
and Avon usually has it in their catalog. Sometimes they'll have a deal and it, it's only 99 cents so I for sure pick up like five or six when I can get the chance. Um, if they don't have the deal on it's $3.99 but mine's probably here and I use it every day and I got it in about April. So I've used this this much since April so that's also good. Um, of course the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is always a hit. Um, everyone uses this. Everyone loves this. I have not heard one person talk down on this at all. Um, another primer I like but I prefer the primer potion is Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti Crease. Um, the reason why I don't like this, I like it because it's in a tube and it, I can get it all out opposed to this which is really hard and I will probably start my like a little tip segment and I'll show you how you can get all of your product out of here really easily. But um, this is Too Faced Shadow Insurance and the reason why I'd prefer the um, Urban Decay is, I don't know if it'll do it, but when I, I don't know if you can see, oh no, it doesn't do it, of course, because it's on camera, and I think it shook it a little bit, but usually when I use it, it's really, really watery when it first comes out, so I'll have to squeeze it until it's in, like, the consistency, consistency it's supposed to be, and who wants to do that, like, who wants to waste their product trying to get to the right consistency like it should just be like that all the time like the primer potion and I also like the primer potion because it does have the wand and the newer ones have a bend in it so I I do like that um, and another hit is obviously Mac fix plus this is very versatile you can pretty much use it for anything you can use it for moisture you can use it as a mixing medium it's just an overall good product and I almost need some more. Um, oh yeah, another hair product is my sexy hair, healthy sexy hair tri soy tri wheat leave-in conditioner. I love this. It is my favorite. I've been using it for about five years and I put it on after my shower. Um, if my hair is feeling a little crunchy or dry then I'll just spray it in there and I love it I swear by this and I recommend it to anyone who can get their hands on it for sure um ch -ch -ch another favorite is I usually like the Freemans but something with this just didn't float my boat so I do like this one and it is a refining facial cleanser in pear um so yeah this is really good and it's just like a gel and it just gloops right out and it's just this like gel and it smells really really good it smells exactly like pear like you're drinking pear I know I'm wasting my product here but I just want to show you guys so I don't have a problem with that um I have two more things and this is body shop Satsuma body polish gentle daily exfoliation and cleanser so just like an exfoliating body gel type thing and I love 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 the smell of this um it looks like that it's just like a gel and it's got um exfoliating particles in it I don't know if you can see it that's a little orange so yeah that's my favorite and I have like a dry patch of skin on my big toe and I just use that and I just exfoliate it and it takes it right off. I'll use it on my um, on my knees because they get really dry in the winter time. I'm going to use it on my hands and it's just overall good exfoliation. Last but certainly never least, I really had to show you my favorite absolute favorite favorite scent and that's Sweet Bee by the Bath and Body Works and I just love it. Their signature, signature collection triple moisture body cream. My second runner up would be Twilight Woods and I have Twilight Woods in everything like gels, I even have their perfume, I have their cream, their body scrub, everything and 
I just love it, but Sweet Pea is definitely my summer, summer, summer hit cream, and I use it every day. So I hope you guys like my hits and misses. I know it's just kind of all over the place, and I kind of stumble upon stuff. Um, I hope you guys like it, and if you want to know more about products, you can leave me a comment or a message, and I will for sure, for sure try and answer you to the best of my ability, and I will be back with more tutorials, and I hope you stay tuned, and I hope you guys have an awesome day, and take care.